Greetings. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. In today's lesson, we will be discussing about how to perform a series of more than two operations on whole numbers applying PEMDAS or GEMDAS correctly. PEMDAS is an acronym that stands for parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. While GEMDAS stands for grouping, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Rules on order of operations under PEMDAS or GEMDAS. Rule number one. First, perform the operations within each pair of grouping symbols. In expressions with nested parentheses, begin with the innermost pair, moving outward. Example. Since we have expressions nested in parentheses, we will begin in the innermost pair, which is 5 times 6. Then, we subtract 30 from 33. Then multiply 3 and 3. Then add 5 and 9. And the answer is 14. Rule number 2. Perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. Example. 10 times 3 divided by 6. We multiply 10 and 3 first, before we proceed to division. Another example. 12 divided by 4 times 2. We first find the quotient of 12 and 4, before we proceed to multiplication. Rule number 3. Perform addition and subtraction as they appear from left to right. Example. 5 plus 3 minus 6. We first add 5 and 3, before proceeding to subtraction. Another example. 15 minus 4 plus 2. We first subtract 4 from 15, before proceeding to addition. Take note. PEMDAS does not mean multiplication before division, and addition before subtraction, even though it may appear that way. These two sets of operations have equal priority. Remember, symbols of groupings can either indicate an alternative order or reinforce the default order to avoid confusion. Take for instance in this example, 2 plus 3 times 4 is equal to 20. The parentheses force the addition of the numbers 2 and 3 first before multiplying them by 4 for a product of 20. Sample guided exercises. Problem number 1. 6 plus 24 divided by 4 times 3 minus 6 is equal to 17. Apply rule 2 first by dividing 24 by 4 to get the quotient of 6. Then, multiply 6 by 3 for a product of 18. Applying rule 3, add 5 and 18 for a sum of 23. Finally, subtract 6 from 23. The difference is 17. Problem number 2. 5 plus 24 divided by quantity 4 times 3, minus 6 is equal to 1. Applying rule 1, solve the equation inside parentheses first, which is to multiply 4 by 3 to produce 12. Apply rule 2 by dividing 24 by 12 to get the quotient of 2. Apply rule 3 by adding 5 and 2 to get the sum of 7. Then, subtract 6 from 7. The difference is 1. Problem number 3. 5 plus 15 divided by 3 times 2 minus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 13. Apply rule 2 first by dividing 15 by 3 to get the quotient of 5. Then, multiply 5 by 2 for a product of 10. Then, divide 4 by 2 to have the quotient of 2. Apply rule 3 by adding 5 and 10 to have a sum of 15. 
Then, subtract 2 from 15. The difference is 13. Problem number 4. 44 divided by quantity 5 plus 6, minus 2 is equal to 2. Applying rule 1, solve the equation inside parentheses first, which is to add 5, and 6 to have a sum of 11. Apply rule 2 by dividing 44 by 11 to get the quotient of 4. Apply rule 3 by subtracting 4 from 2. The difference is 2. Now let us try to test what you have learned. Try to answer the following problems, pause after the question, and play it again when you already have the answer. Try to check if you have arrived at the correct answer. I hope that it gave you an idea on how to perform a series of more than two operations on whole numbers applying PEMDAS or GEMDAS correctly. Feel free to replay the video to have mastery on the topic. Thank you for watching.